Another traumatic flight experience to share. This one in Canada. Uh, basically, this is like Canada's version of Spirit Air. It's called Flare Air. Oh, wow. I haven't even heard of it. Yeah, they're they're new and okay. cheaper. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> they don't even do the big one right. No, no. <laughs> I mean, like, it's the worst airline. The big one is the worst airline right. I've ever dealt with. Absolutely. So now they've they, there's a so discount imagine. version of that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. But you guys, so they were stuck. Don't call it Flare with all your wildfires. <laughs> They were stuck in the cabin of this airline for 10 hours. And they, funny, but... um, what did they, they ran oh, out no. of water. Everyone was given airplane bathroom water. Oh my God. Everyone Delicious. on the flight. No, We've no heard joke. that is, no, no joke. That's the flight fake. attendants were getting water from the bathroom Stop. to get pee. I swear you can listen to this story. If that is non potable water. Exactly. Yeah. We've heard it's the worst thing yeah. you can drink yeah. in human yeah. life. <laughs> They do not care at Flair. No. no. Well, they go only Flair, we don't care. We've got 12 water bottles. <laughs> Would have been better off drinking your own pee. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Oh, my God. Here's that story. Probably did. from Now, uh, I believe the reporter, just don't be confused. Okay. The story is in Canada, even though the reporter is Indian. Okay? Okay, yes. All right. I got you. Here's the story you. from CBC News. Let's take a listen. Dramatic is how Carmen Zabo describes her recent trip with Flair Airlines. She was in Toronto visiting her sister. Are you good? On name? July 17th, she was supposed to fly to Saskatoon. Soon after the takeoff, she says passengers were told there was no food or water available. The flight attendants were going, they got cups and they would just go to the bathroom and then they would come out and they were handing in the cups out. Yes. Instead of landing, the plane circled above Saskatoon before being diverted to Winnipeg. Right. Then they yeah, said, the, the runway's wet. We can't got land. Her. Then they said, <laughs> no, the runway is actually under construction. We can't land. Then they said, well, one <laughs> runway is too short. So, you know what you gotta know. Take, so we can't land. You after gotta that, know that, the passengers were informed they'd be uh -oh, flying back to Toronto worse. after stopping in Winnipeg. Sabo says that's when people became enraged and started yelling. Of course. That's when RCMP hey, were called. Hey. Passengers were also told their luggage will be sent to Toronto if they got off mm. the plane. So three quarters of the plane got off and they said, forget it. We don't care. Get us off this flight. And then a quarter of us stayed because we wanted our luggage. Zabu says she was given $10 in food vouchers and no money for a hotel. That's the enough. The flight finally landed on Wednesday, July 19th. A ripple effect also resulted in 33 hours of delay for people waiting in Saskatoon to fly to Toronto. Adam Cyril was one of them. What? He says Flair gave him a bag of crackers oh. as compensation. It was just Check horrible snacks. customer service. That's better than crackers. I understand planes need to turn around for reasons and not every plane is on time, but the way that the passengers were treated in this instance was pretty appalling. The Saskatoon airport confirms one runway was under construction and the other was too wet and too short for Flair to land. When we do anticipate wet conditions on the shorter runway, that we're doing extra reporting of that condition and that allows the airlines to make appropriate decisions on the landing distance that is available to them. Flair Airlines says landing the plane in Saskatoon would have been unsafe due to the weather. <laughs> Still, experts nice say the airline owes its passengers delayed on both sides of journey compensations. For the Toronto to Saskatoon uh, travelers, they would be entitled to um, compensation of $500 per traveler. It's just a stunning level of incompetence by flair. <laughs> I, I, Does everyone in Canada have a foreign accent? Yes. I, yes. <laughs> I really have difficulty believing that there was anything wrong with a Saskatoon airport runway. I will certainly never fly with flair. For Zabo, the so very learned, idea of flying learning. now deems daunting. Pratish Tayal, CBC News, Saskatoon. <laughs> Can you even imagine you have to fly to Saskatoon <laughs> and Saskatoon? stuff goes wrong? <laughs> On your... Flair. Saskatoon. <laughs> My flare air. Flare is a million times worse than spirit. That's what oh, it sounds it's like. pretty bad. He's like, all they did was give them some crackers and then spit in their face. <laughs> <laughs> in a crazy turn of events, a man was punched, kicked, and given $10. When the issue was brought to light, they just told them they were all scumbags. And then everybody left the flight. They threw away everyone's luggage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nightmare. Disaster. Yeah, well, like, like I said. The worst part was 
toilet sink water. I mean, I can't even. Which we've always heard is the worst thing you it can is, drink. It is, but also you're still trying to stay alive. I get it, the but... Heat. Ten hours. Yeah. It's a long time. Oh. How bad is plain... Airplane water. Never drink water aboard an airplane unless it's sealed in a bottle. Mm. Disease-causing oh pathogens gosh. could be in there as well. Well, think about how many people, like, pooped, and then they put their hands right underneath, and, oh, like, maybe they jostled a bit and got a little bit on something. The Come tap on. water on most airplanes was found to be contaminated with varying levels of E. coli mm. and coliform. Yeah. Mm, e. coli. How yep. much is it to open that door that emerged that you know to get oh, out of there? Like you're thinking about the fine? <laughs> yeah, like how, yeah, is I it might, worth it? Do it. In. Two I might years. Be. Hey, we all gonna chip in and open the door? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the hospital bills and everything because of the, the water true. would be exactly. It's more like money. oh, wait a second, you're about to give us the toilet water. <laughs> no, we quit this. I bitch. would open it. I think we're out. That would be an absolute nightmare. And I mean, figure out if you can land there before you take off. Can we do that? Can we figure that out? You know, what a mess. I mean, what they're lucky is that they had enough fuel to go there and back. You know, because you've been on the big airline, and I've been on the big airline in Canada, where they didn't have enough fuel to get to the city that we were going to. Yep. Crazy times. Yeah. 